Mary, welcome to the greenhouse. Have you ever read a book that was boring, confusing, or had so many errors that it took you out of the story? It's pretty awful, right? Scripts are no different. Hollywood is filled with screenwriters, and studio script readers are flooded with new content every day. Most of the submitted scripts are filled with silly mistakes and errors that make readers reject them before they finish reading the whole story. If you want your screenplay to stand out, then you must avoid these 10 common mistakes of screenwriting. Let's start with the most common mistake, spelling and grammar. Really, guys? Imagine trying to read a book with tons of typos and misused wording. It would be hard for you to stay focused on the story. Always proofread your scripts before submitting them, and have someone else proofread them too. Failing to do so will often cause a reader to stop after only a couple of pages. Mistake number two, having the wrong format. Remember, there is a certain structure to screenplays which are different than your average MLA format. There are softwares out there that help you write the script in the correct format, and some of them are free, such as Celtext, Writer Duet, and Fade In. Mistake number three, giving general names to major characters before they are introduced to the reader. Avoid calling your main character mom or college student one on the first couple of pages. This confuses the reader, making them wonder which characters they should follow. Don't leave your main characters a mystery. Hi, college student number one. Oh, hey, mom. How was class, college student number one? Oh, uh, mom, it was so boring. Do you need your laundry done, college student number one? Uh, no, mom, I can do it myself. College student number one. Oh, mom. Mistake number four, poorly described scenes. If the beginning of the scene has too little information, then the reader is left wondering what is going on. If the scene has too much detail, that makes the script horribly boring. Describe what is important and necessary. No more and no less. There's a sad, dreary, gloomy, spooky night on exactly the 5th of October at 9.47 p.m. in a suburban area that is not usually sad, dreary, quiet, and spooky. Mm. Mistake number five. Having characters with similar names, for example, Jack and Jake, or worse, Peter and Pete. You want to keep your character names separate and distinct so the reader does not get lost on who is doing what. There is nothing more frustrating than trying to figure out who is who in the scene. Mistake number six, including too many parenthetical words before your dialogue. It is okay to do it every now and then, but don't rely on it. Actors typically know if they need to be <gasps> dramatic or <sighs> angry. Trust your actors to get the intention of a scene. Mistake number seven, using the same words over and 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 over. This makes your dialogue and action repetitive. Try to use different words. Instead of look, try glance or gaze. Maybe replace run with a verb that better fits the scene, such as sprint or dash. Open a thesaurus if you need to. This makes your scenes more descriptive and entertaining to read. Cowdy Wampus, definitely using that. Mistake number eight, having your characters say everything on their mind. Assume your audience is smart and will be able to understand the subtext. They only need to see the character to understand how they feel most of the time. Remember, to show, don't tell. Mistake number nine, writing camera angles in scenes. Remember, you are the screenwriter, not the director of photography. It is okay to write camera angles for specific scenes and for clarity, but don't go overboard. To the left, extreme close-up. Whoa, uh, not that close. The tenth and final mistake you want to avoid is using famous music for your scripts. While you may want to add that song that inspired the scene, Keep in mind that music rights cost money, and anytime a song is listed, the studios tend to only hear the sound of money leaving their pockets. Remember, the most important thing you can do is have a good story. Without it, even fixing these common mistakes is not going to help. So keep writing, because practice makes perfect. 
Thanks for joining the Greenhouse today. Subscribe to our YouTube page for more industry information. To learn more about the Greenhouse and our events with industry professionals, go to our website at greenhouseproductions.com. Thank you.